In this video, I'm going to show you how to integrate API in Flutter and how to make use of API response in Flutter app. Before we start, don't forget to hit the subscribe button for the latest video. API integration in Flutter requires making network HTTP requests. In this tutorial, I will be using this HTTP package which you can find in pub.dev. Add this package into your Flutter project pubspec.yaml file. So here I have a sample API created by TP Code Server. This API returns three key value pairs which are user ID, ID, and title. This is just a sample API response. Firstly, we have to create a model class to map the key value pairs into class variables. So here I will be creating a class called album and in the album class, it should consist of three variables that matches the API response key. Important note here, make sure the name of the variable same as the key name in the API response. This is very important as any mismatch on the character will fail to map the response and causes the response to return now. Then I will be creating a constructor for the album class and this constructor will take all variables as parameter. After creating constructor, we have to create the mapping method. Here we have to use factory as we need to map and create a new mapped object. This method will take a raw JSON and return a new album object with mapped JSON value. As of now, we have completed our model class. Next, we have to create function that make a HTTP request to the API. HTTP request in Flutter is an asynchronized task. We have to return a future album object and set the function with a sync keyword. Before we make HTTP request, make sure you import HTTP package. Now we can call http.get method and specify the API path in the parameter. Flutter HTTP request doesn't accept string path anymore. Instead, we have to parse it to URI type. Once we execute this function, it will make a get request to the API path and return the response to the response variable. Before we return the response to the main code, we have to firstly check if the request success or not by checking the response status code. If the code is 200, which means it's succeeded, we have to call the mapping functions that we have created in the album class to the returned response. Else, if it's other than 200, we will throw an exception. As of now, we have completed our API function. Coming back to our main code, in the elevator button on press function, here is where we execute the API function. Because this function returns a future object, we have to use dot then method to receive the returned object. With the return object, we can now easily access to the object variables just like value.id, value.title, and value.userid. For tutorial purposes, I will just add a print method to each values. Now let's try it out in the simulator. So as you can see, it printed out the API response value in the terminal. And we can validate by checking back to the API key value JSON. With this return object value, you can use either setState method or any reactive state manager to rebuild the UI and display the API response in the screen. 
Conclusion, this is how you integrate API in a Flutter application and make use of the API response. If you have any question, feel free to comment below. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to our channel. See you in the next video.